welcome. This is Kevin, also known as AWOL. And today we have this really bright and fun bracelet. And arguably, it was relatively easy. Okay, it's intermediate. It is. There's a lot of stuff going on here. There's the whole getting the colors separated to other sides. There's zigzag knots. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on. But it repeats itself a lot. And once you kind of get into the groove of it, yeah, it's you you don't even really look at the pattern much. That said, I did have the problem of periodically, I'm not sure if you'll actually see it in the making video here, um, because I stopped the video and, and then did it. I would have to like take it out and figure out where I am in the bracelet. Like, am I close to done? Is this where am I? Um, so that kind of happened a lot. Oh, I forgot to say, which this was the, my take on pattern 71611 from friendshipbracelets.net. Um, and this is the one where I completely went off and did my own thing and had no regard for the actual pattern itself. Cause I didn't like the other pattern. I just liked the part that I chose. So that's, that's what it is there. It's a 16 string bracelet. Um, which is going to so work out in my favor. Um, geez. So I think I warned when making this that the white and the black strings were going to get used an awful lot and that there was a bit of a warning. Make sure that, you know, you cut your string nice and long because you could run out. Now I cut my strings into one third of a skein, which is, it's like two point five or 2.6 meters or something like that. It's, it's a pretty good length. I mean, it's a pretty long piece of string there. Um, it was barely enough and I'm not even kidding. Like it, it was like, well, I don't know if you can see like the, the white ends here. Like I, I couldn't, well, there, the technically it ends up here. So there it's about, I have a ruler. I can't, I can't even, I know I put it back. Aha, got a ruler. It is, do, 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 oops, I have it upside down. It's clear, so it's really hard to read this thing. It is like 9 cm long. The string is 9 cm. It was like hard to actually tie the last knot with that because it was so short. 9 cm. That's right. What is that in inches? I don't know. That's here's one tooth, like three and a half inches. So yeah, it's, it's a really short string at this point. Um, and the black strings weren't much longer. However, all the colorful ones are really nice and super, super long and there's 12 of them. So, um, I've done this before basically what I'll do is I'll do the same thing where I loop all the strings over top of each other and bring it into, you know, nice and tight. And then I will have Mandy Kumi it. And what she, she will do is she will take those short strings because there's 12 other strings here, right? Um, she will bury the short ones inside of the Kumi. All right, she just it sort of flops around and she, you keep doing the kumi and you just try to keep the thing out of your way and it becomes like the core in the middle of this kumi humo braid which will make it so that way i still have a sellable bracelet in fact it's almost nicer because instead of just a regular plain old split it into three groups and and braid it up it becomes something that's even cooler. It's like this really good looking rope thing that's going on. So that's going to be the saving grace here. That's, that's the big story of it. Um, overall though, the, it looks really, really cool. The, the blue dot on the orange side and the orange dot on the blue side. I absolutely love it. I, I really think this was like spot on. This was awesome. Mind you, the whole bracelet took me about an hour and a half to make. So we have sped this up quite a bit is what it is. Um, but I mean, 
it's still not bad for a bracelet like this. And it, it's super pretty. I'm not sure from the video aspect. I, I'm guessing you could probably tell that orange is a fluorescent orange. And the blue is that sort of real electric blue. I thought it would be a bit more of a contrast with the black, and it's not, which is kind of a little bit unfortunate that it doesn't really... Like, I'm not, maybe if I'd gone with like a lighter blue or something, then the black would have been more predominant. Um, but I kind of liked this kind of blue with this orange. So I kind of went with that. And I mean, there's enough contrast. It, it shows up. You can, you know, even from a distance, you can see what's going on here. Um, would I do it differently if I had it to do again? Prob maybe, yeah. Yeah, probably. Um, but you can see here, like, right. So I, I bring the blue out until I get to the little black string and then the little black string will go down three, like, or is it three, two, this one, and then this one, and then it turns, right. And then you bring the blue one down. Then the next one is you put the little orange dot inside of the square, bring the black one down and bring the blue on down again. Then you bring the black down in this long row it just you don't need the pattern to look at once you once you kind of master like oh that's the thing and that's my cue and i just bring this black one down and change while there's still two strings off on the end um you know like the, on the third string it changes direction yeah and then it makes it even easier when the white one comes down because you know that it changes before it gets to the black string super super easy like oh my god the again the only reason i had to look at the pattern was to try to figure out is it long enough yet is it getting to where i'm supposed to be because i of course i worked all that out in advance right i know how many knots there is from the top to the bottom to make a good size to wear on your wrist and base the whole pattern that i made off of that so that's that's all I had to aim for was that that's you know and I mean I guess I guess if I wasn't like trying to have things centered and and those sides even and all that kind of stuff this would be a pattern which would be really easy to just make it until your strings are getting too short and uh then you stop there you know or you make it till you feel like that's good enough this would be really easy for that um, I say it's easy again, it is intermediate. It does take a little bit of, you know, knowing when to make the turns and doing stuff, but yeah, it's, I think that honestly, just worrying about how much more there was to do probably slowed me down more than anything on the whole project. Like it was just, it just goes, it's the th the same thing I was saying on uh, that was on the blue side, the same thing just happened. There was two strings at the end of where the black string ends. It doesn't go to the, the, the last one or the last two. It turns before that. The white one turns before it goes over the black. This black one will turn before it goes over the white. It's just super easy like that. And then the blue ones just come straight out until you get to the little black kick out. I mean... Oh, I love when a pattern's like this. I love when it just becomes so easy that you can walk away from a, your computer or your paper or however you have it marked down for yourself. Because, yeah, it's just a simple repetition. It's a simple layout. So hopefully, Hopefully you guys get excited about bracelets like I do. Obviously, I'm excited about this one. I really like how this turned out. I think it's going to be something that's going to be a, a heck of a lot of fun to uh, to show off and, and put up. Mind you, I can't show you the whole braided thing yet because it's not done. But by the time the video comes out for making it, well, by the time you've seen this video, the, the braiding will be done. Mandy will have taken care of it. It'll be awesome. We'll be, you know, yeah. And then the picture will be on my website, 
which is aka awol.com, or you can check it out over on my Instagram because I will share a picture over there as well. Um, a lot of those I've been doing where I like have it kind of like rounded and, and whatever. I'm not sure if I'll show the braids to it on there. Definitely for sure on the website, you'll see the, the braids, but uh, I'm not going to guarantee the whole Instagram thing because I, I don't know. I've been kind of messing around with trying to play with the look and see if that, what people think. So I don't know. We'll see. See, there's the little, the, the black one came out too. And the other orange gets turned and, and sent out that. Mind you, the rest of the colors, the, like the oranges and the blues, um, I just let them go whichever way they needed to go without, you know, like you can see the orange just come straight across, right? The, the only time that they were really changing directions are inside of the little boxes, like down the middle. And that's because there's inside of there, like there on that one, there's like a blue and an orange. So the blue has to come back towards the left and send the orange over to the right. And that happens on each of them. So that's the thing. Yeah, I think, I think you could kind of see on that where I just moved the clip that I actually took a second to kind of count how many, how far along was I, because it was hard to, for me to tell and keep up, you know, because the pattern, it just looks the same. It just keeps coming back and forth. You're like, there's no, and then of course, for me with the ADHD brain, you could say there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's seven blue dots on the side, you know, I won't remember that. Like I'll, I'll get on some knots and be like, wait, how many was it? And this will happen again and again and again. Like I can't, I, it's, it's a weird thing, man. I, I don't understand why my brain refuses to retain certain things, especially like if I get off on working on something else or doing something, I can't go back to that. I have I, yeah, I can write them down and stuff and, and, uh, you know, that kind of helps some, but yeah, I, I don't remember all that stuff. It just doesn't stick. I, something I live with. So yeah, I, I counted this many times. Um, we have got to be at least halfway or more, right? So let me take a moment here and thank my Patreon supporters for making this possible. Thanks guys. Um, seriously, I love making tutorials and I love showing everybody that my enthusiasm for the craft itself and the people that have supported me through Patreon helped to make all this stuff possible. They helped me get cameras and microphones and string. Obviously I need a lot of string. So yeah. Um, it's what keeps me coming back for all this stuff. So thanks a lot, guys. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, I might, I might play around with this pattern again sometime. I don't know. We'll see. It's, it's really, it's a good looking pattern and there's, you know, it's got so much potential. Um, I can imagine doing a, a bunch of different things with this. It could be fun. So. We'll see what happens. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, that's really the heart of it. I mean, it was easy. It went kind of quick. It's, I mean, okay. Honestly, I don't know hour and a half for a 16 string. I don't know if, what my average for a 16 string bracelet is. Um, at some point, I should probably try to work that out. However, I kind of don't see my, myself doing that because like, it would mean like I would have to start jotting down and, and doing averaging and, and things like that. And I'd have to be organized enough to like each time put it into the book or something. Honestly, you guys are probably more likely to be able to tell me what the average is based on watching my videos and be like, oh, but Kevin, you know, the last five videos that you did with 16 string. Yeah, you guys will probably know it before I do because I'm just not really good at that. So.
so. Oh, and you can see too, I really did work out like an effective means to just do this whole thing, right? Like if you watch each time I do a, a area segment, um, I pretty much follow the same thing all the way along. Like the black one comes down and the white one, like everything about it is down to what I would say is, is relatively a science. Um, it was about long rows. It was about making it easy. It was about, you know, just being efficient and, um, yeah, I'm all for that kind of stuff. I, yeah. So if you try this, this one, you might take notes of like how I approached the strings and how I did the thing. Cause, uh, yeah, it really seriously worked very, very well for me. Cause I, right. The, like these orange ones, right. I'm going off to the right. I didn't have to, I could have brought them in from the left and gotten to the row where the black one came out or whatever. It could go the other direction. Um, but that's to me, wasn't going to be easier than what I'm doing here. And, oh, because I was kind consistently doing that, like bringing them outwards or whatever, this bracelet is so straight and even. It is so looking absolutely perfect. It looks, I bet you that, um, if somebody were, were to admire this, like some other bracelet people, they would think, oh, it's got to be straight edge for sure. Or they would think whatever, like even the back of it. I don't know. Can you see this? The back looks super, super cool because almost everything is going exactly the same way all the time. And so like, it just, it almost has like a herringbone look go going to it. And it's, uh, so like either side of this bracelet turned out really, really sharp. So, you know, it is what it is. I, uh, it's just finding the system that works well, I guess. So yeah, we are getting really, really close to the end. Um, I definitely want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. I, I enjoy these videos and, um, yeah, I mean, you're still here. So hopefully that means you enjoy them as well. Oh, you'll see, I made it. I do make a mistake here um, because I couldn't, I didn't see where the end of the pattern was. I didn't realize that the white, I thought it just came to the end and went out. And then when I scrolled up, I'm like, oh, it turns to the right. So yeah, there's, there's, a, I do make one goof in the whole thing, um, but I fix it before the end. So, you know, yay me. Yeah, see right there? It went straight with it. And then at some point in here, I scroll up. Yep, probably right there. <laughs> and went, oh, man. And, uh, yep. Big fat needle takes it out. Done. So, yeah. We are nearing the end here, guys. Again, I really appreciate you guys hanging out. Be sure to hit the like. Maybe even hit subscribe. That would be awesome. And, um... Yeah, as always, don't get your strings in a bunch. <laughs>